In the quaint town of Deland, Florida, lies a school called Stetson University, home of the Hatters, and home to the mysterious yet mesmerizing Holly Tower. But hidden deeper within school limits lies a tradition like no other, a tradition that for over a century shaped the lives of many men. For me, Delta Sig is really just a group of men that are really well-mannered, that I really respect, and people who I call my friends. One of the fraternities, we look forward to having socials and holding um, just any type of event here on campus. The same name always pops up during chapter. I think Delta Sig is a great asset to Sutton's campus. They're really fun and really laid back, and when I hang out with them, I feel like they're like my own brothers. Delta Sigma Phi is one of my favorite fraternities because I really, I find it very honoring the way that they carry themselves. We're just people that I related to and I think it's really great to have an organization that can really have a group of men that are well-rounded, well-known on campus and respected. Our girls have, have a lot of fun um, with them during these events and I know that we look forward to holding other events like the concert, maybe it could become an annual thing with Delta Sig. Delta Sig has a very strong brotherhood and they're very accepting of everybody. Delta Sig is very diverse in their letters and I think that the people that wear their letters really have a lot to offer their fraternity as a whole. I know my sorority Pi Phi, we got an invitation from Delta Sig once to go over to their house and they cooked us a meal and a dinner and had laid out everything for us and it was really sweet. Our chapter has gotten really closer with them and I feel like we will probably do a lot more things in the future with Delta Sig. And every year we have Alpha Z holds um, the Z-Man competition and this year again um, Delta Sig won and the winner was Kyle Minchenberg. Our Omega Man who is our chapter sweetheart for Alpha Chi Omega is Nick Cool George who is the current Delta Sig president. through the corridors of the Delta Sigma Phi house, we can't help but feel a sense of welcomeness. We managed to catch up with current president of Delta Sigma Phi, Nicholas Cool and George. He sheds light on what Delta Sigma Phi brings to this campus and how brothers benefit from such an organization. I think what makes being Delta Sig such a unique experience on Stetson's campus is that we really put pressure on everybody to make it something that's their own and to never settle for something that's already great. Um, we have brothers who do so much through the fraternity that they probably never would have thought they could do through a fraternity. We have brothers making a YouTube page because they're interested in uh, filming. We have brothers who set up a philanthropy event of a battle for the bands because they're so interested in music and contacting bands and setting up concerts. Um, some of our brothers are interested in cornhole and we made a philanthropy event about it. Our brotherhood events are based off of things that brothers like to cook, things that brothers like to do, fishing, hiking. Um, and really the entire point of being a Delta Sig at Stetson is that you can do what you want to do and you'll have the undying support of 50 men behind you. And I feel like that's something that you can't really get in another organization on campus, be it a Greek organization or just a regular student organization. Um, and that's really what makes me prideful in being a Delta Sig is that I see people grow through things that they get to experience that they would have never done before because it's never been in their mindset. It was somebody else's idea, it was somebody else's dream. Um, and we all learn from each other and we all gain things from each other because we all have different ideas of what Delta Sig should be. Just going on from last year, we thought that we had, were coming off of a great start. Um, and it's one of those things where we don't get complacent and we were excited to hit the ground running coming into the fall. Uh, our recruitment um, has always been really great on Stetson's campus and instead of just kind of resting on the idea of big pledge classes, we created a values-based system, uh, we followed dynamic recruitment, and we got 90% uh, retention, which is something we've never done before. Meet Patrick Browning, a sophomore at Stetson University and this year's recruitment chair for Delta Sigma Phi. Here at the Alpha Guide Chapter, we pride ourselves on being the best at what we do. And we want to be the best at recruitment. And through dynamic recruitment, 
our goal is to recruit 13 men this spring and then 31 men in the fall. So far, we have brought four new men into the fraternity, initiated three of those men, and the one man will be initiated as soon as we come back from school. And hopefully, with all the momentum we've been building, um, learning how to um, master the one-on-one -on -one recruitment style, in the fall, we'll reach our goal. 25 years from now, I hope to come back to Stetson and see my Delta Sig chapter thriving, um, mainly because of the things that I learned here and the things that I teach to the future recruitment chairman here at Delta Sigma Phi. Our philanthropy we finally made money on uh, for the first time last year, and this year that's almost been tripled, quadrupled, making over $1,000 for our philanthropic partners. Um, Community service has really been something that we've kind of taken as our own um, and this year rather than going for 2,000 hours like we've done before, we decided to make everything more meaningful um, and related to our philanthropy efforts. In charge of such events like this is current Vice President Tom Narducci, often referred as the backbone of the fraternity and the behind the scenes man. Um, and one aspect I think of Delta Sigma Phi I think is highly developed is our chair system. Um, our chair system encompasses positions such as academics, community service, philanthropy, uh, social endeavors around campus, um, anything that really deals with the internal operations of the fraternity and um, taking that aspect to the external uh, operations of which Nicola George oversees as president. Our social excellence um, has improved dramatically and that's something you can't really measure um, and I don't think a lot of people understand what it means and to us social excellence is being synonymous with great, uh, respected, and gentlemen. Um, as Vice President, I've really tried to empower my brothers, um, give them the resources for them to succeed, and to allow this brotherhood to succeed around campus. And I really think that that's shown through um, the academics chair with instilling a higher GPA in our um, academic plan, with our social chair taking more of an, initi an initiative to break the stereotypes of what a social is with a sorority, and really try to take that extra step to become um, more personable with them um, to go deeper, to just go past the um, stereotypical partying with another sorority. Um, I really feel like our philanthropy efforts this year have really come a long way and we've raised the most money that we ever have um, since being recolonized in 2002 and finally getting our charter in 2004. We're coming from a chapter that just came back in 2002 um, and it's kind of chronicled in one of our alumni's videos on YouTube called The Struggle. Uh, where, you know, Delta State used to be a chapter that was spit on, that was laughed at, that was made fun of, um, you know, basically thought of as the losers of the campus. And since then we transformed into the fraternity of the year and then we transformed into something that's become better, be better, be a better man. So I really feel like the chair system is um, something that's really come a long way, something that we're truly developing, something that I feel our brothers are empowered and able to walk around Stetson's campus um, with a little bit more confidence and a little bit more edge in the leadership development. Uh, our values based system has been adopted by the entire national organization. Uh, it's been sent out to every chapter, every update we've made to it. Our bylaws um, are being used to kind of serve as templates for starting chapters in Michigan and Texas. Um, and, you know, we've also had a great impact at events like the Leadership Institute in the summer, the summit um, in January, and the Regional Leadership Academy in January, where we're the only chapter in the nation who sends um, new members to the Regional Leadership Academy to understand how the fraternity works um, and to understand the positions that are available to them in the fraternity. Um, and so, throughout all of those, including the convention this past summer, we've been able to send um, over 25 brothers to different national events for leadership opportunities. Right, One, two, three, no, the same! Oh, a man may be a very good man, a very good man may be, but a better man he's sure to become when he joins a fraternity. He may pass the test of the second best, but the man whose best says, I Sigma Phi